the motion man for second and nine. Herbert escaping. Gonna take off here and out of bounds as takes the hit at the five yard line. Fans want the flag on Geno Stone, the safety. Stone was accelerating as he was clearly going out of bounds. He does make the hit. He's committed to it, but foot down the hit. The foot was clearly down well out of bounds when contact occurred. Had it been right near the edge or the foot just coming down, then it wouldn't be a foul. But he is well out of bounds. Try to pin Darius Davis in the chart. He's deep. Davis over to make the fair catch. Had a little contact there. And no whistle. Mike, it's absolutely fair catch interference. The signals for the fair catch, and the defender hits him before the ball gets there. That's a foul. It's a 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. On third and three. The pressure here. Pushed down. Got back up. And escaping. Chased by Mack. Jackson with a stiff arm to the edge. Working on Kenneth Murray. He says he's got the first down. Let's see where that mark comes. Mark is just shy. There's the camera on the pylon by the down marker over there as Lamar... Number 66 is reporting as eligible. Comes across. Super close there. There it looks like he's got it. The pressure with Derwin James is picked up. The middle is open. And on the run, it's Aguilar. But I thought it was a first, first down first live. Down. I thought his arm was easily over the 40-yard line when the knee came down. Again, first body part down is... Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about that. It's a bad call, but it's the same situation that we were in earlier. Holding. Offense number 66. The left guard right here is going to get out and hold right there with a little fake by <laughs> the D-line. For nine. Pass. To Sherfield, incomplete, and no flag. Five Pro Bowls the last six seasons. Look at that right there. The spin and turn, and then the close the gap right there. Might have been early. I think that was probably a penalty. Take it back. The Eagles in the goal. <laughs> Second and goal. Because <laughs> Allen has someone on him right away, and he's going down. Oh, what a play by Reddick. And oh, look at the, the, the jersey's ripped. He just shredded the jersey. Gene Steratore. That is pretty blatant, I think. It, it is, Jim. Now, by rule, if the quarterback is in the pocket, you're permitted to. But we can clearly see that Josh Allen was flushed out of the pocket. At that point now, a horse caller should have been called. I agree. There was no receiver in the area. The ball did not reach the line of scrimmage. This is intentional grounding by the quarterback. Watch right here in front. Gabe Davis is right near about two steps in front of that. And I know you can't always get it back into it, but there's many levels to that I thought were wrong. There's the pass. Incomplete. Diggs looking around for the flag. Oh, my gosh. It does not exist. Slay on the coverage. Oh, I thought that was a penalty for sure. Didn't it look like it? We'll see. Slay's played really good today. Is he grabbing right at the end? Yeah, that should have been a penalty. Look at He's pulling him. He's holding him the whole time. Second and four. Brown, ball came out. If that's a catch, this game is over. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be close. This is going to be a Gene Steratore moment. They're ruling incomplete on the field. Ruling really on the field is an incomplete pass. It's third down. To me, guys, he did not get that third step or time element to make the football move. And I really didn't feel like there was that time element after the second foot. Here's our replay with the possession one, two. It feels like it's out. Real time always feels much quicker. Here it is slower. You got one foot, two, and just at that point, the ball comes out. To me, that third element just doesn't feel definitive enough with a ruling two on the field of incomplete. I'm happy to see him back playing football and playing well. Stingley with the interception. Now, it looked like the Jacksonville receiver was held, and there was no penalty. Gene Steratore, the evidence is clear. It is, Andrew, and you know, in a play like this, officials have a, have a receiver, too. That number two receiver, responsibility of the official on the line of scrimmage at the top of the screen. You, look, when you have arms around there, you may let him have an arm, but when you restrict that much and you take a step away, it rises to the level of pass interference, and a flag should have been thrown on the play. In the second half, back to the air. 
Lawrence, touch pass, deep, incomplete. Looking for Ingram in a late flag. Ferris, defense number four. This penalty comes from the other side of the field. You see, it's Tavier just trying to keep up with Evan Ingram and hand-checking him, basically holding his hand so he can't get both hands out there. Classic pass interference. Usually you let that one go, but dare we say make up. <laughs> it's not certainly not as egregious as the one we saw earlier. Lawrence incomplete. Nowhere near Kirk in a flag. Thomas is going to get called again. That's, that's borderline uncatchable. Raining boos. Pass interference, number four. Now three pass interference calls. Third and seven. Lawrence throws, a flag is down. Holding, defense, number 21. Four Houston penalties, a defensive pass interference and a defensive hold. The last two possessions, here we see it right here. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I think they've missed a handful yeah, of calls today. And I marked that one call. in the same category. Looked like Walker Little jump, no flat. Ingram on the catch. And he picks up nine and more boos from the Texans fans. D'Amico Ryan's not happy about it either. Yeah, you can see it right here. And I think you're right. I mean, to me, that's a half a count early. And the way it's been officiated, you'd think they would blow the... You know, blow the whistle and throw a flag, and you get D'Amico Ryan's being frustrated with how this game is shaking out from the official standpoint. Yeah, just to be fair, that was in slow motion, guys, so. Unsportsmanlike conduct by Chicago number six for taking his helmet off. It's Kyler Gordon. He's saying that number the, six the is helmet, well, it was the taunt. broken. That's his first towards disqualification. Well, they're even doubling down and saying that it's a taunt instead of taking his helmet off, but his, his face mask came off. Yeah, and that just doesn't happen, you know, so somebody obviously grabbed it along the way and he takes the helmet off, which I totally understand with the face mask just dangling. Brandon Powell and he come together on the sideline and Powell, it goes out of frame, but then Kyler Gordon comes away with his face mask flopping around, took his helmet off and got the penalty. Yeah, chances are as they got deeper into that sideline, that's when that action took place. Carr dumping it for Camara, incomplete with the defense from Ellis. Pass interference. Let's see how Caden Ellis does. Sure looks like he got there. I don't, I don't know if they're considering that ball uncatchable, but boy, that that could have been pass interference on 55. Clean first half prior to that interception to end the first. And it off to Cordero Patterson, who they rode on that last drive in the first half. He gets body slammed down here after a game of one, and he is really upset. Yeah, that 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 is a that should be a flag. I mean, it, it's it's in the rule book. You do not pick up. It's not just a suplex. You do not slam a player to the ground to the turf. So, not not sure exactly why that was not called. That that's two guys. Another Aussie punter, Michael Dixon, just gets that one away. It's 51 yards. Ray Ray McLeod from the 38, trying to get to the edge. No flag came with that block. A lot of folks on the Seattle side thought there would be one. Here's D. Winters trying to throw his body in front of Brady Russell. Double screwdriver sounds good at the end of Thanksgiving. Second and 15. Purdy. Is he over the line? It's caught but out of bounds. Let's see, they're right down the 20-yard line. Purdy's very, very, very close. Super close there. Second and goal. Smith looking. Porter. Broke it up. Trying to get it to Smith and Jigba. Sort of bang, bang down here at the end. And he, a little grab of the arm there mm -hmm. by Ambry Thomas, not seen. Maybe <laughs> officials thought it was an offset of the arm extended. This almost all the last year. Second and 11, pressure comes. Purdy escapes incomplete, and Julian Love hit use check. Did it look like he got there a little early? Yeah. Maybe they yeah. ruled it uncatchable, I don't know. from the gun. Kick it. Steps. Rifles. Touchdown! Deontay Johnson! 
Oh, it's incomplete. Watch here by the replay. You can see possession. There's one step to a third there before he begins the fall. Surviving the ground doesn't play. And in my opinion, I thought Deontay Johnson still had firm possession of the football. This was on the special teams play. Yeah, the end of the kickoff. And Killebrew with the tackle grabs the mask, but the hand comes off of it. And no flag comes out. Tight formation. Najee Harris in the backfield. Give it to him. Harris. Gets to the outside, and he's in. Touchdown. Flag down at the end of the play. And if it stands, he was the escort. Otherwise, There's it no might be on him. Holding. It's over the play as a touchdown. There it is. Number 80 in white. Right there, Washington. And you see the right arm on the up, up on the upper pad of Jermaine Pratt, number 57. By Anzalone, and wow. man, that's hands to the face, right? If I'm if I'm Green Bay, I'm saying, hey, that's hands to the face. I guess officials don't deem it forcible contact. Having a chance to keep this alive to go seven. They're going to run it. Montgomery has a couple good blocks, uses them. Montgomery yep. in for the touchdown. Penalty at the very end of this. Holding number 11, offense. I mean, that flag came out late. Let's see. So they're kind of hugging each other there on the two-yard line. Let's see the end. To be a third down and three. Going for the end zone for Watson. He's got it. Touchdown, Green Bay. Matched up against Jerry Jacobs. That subtle little right hand, that subtle little push creates the separation that he needs. And but again, we've seen this time and time again today. Ooh. Wow, he's got him by the back of the collar. Just hope he's all right. He went down so awkwardly. Wow, there. you see his left leg got in there. I don't know why that's not a horse collar. Determine if he's outside the pocket or not, but. Holding offense, number 14. Well, here's Sutton. Let's see where. On Taki Taki, number 44. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. That, yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Palms up. I, I didn't see it there. That's why they had the lead blocker in front on the run. From the seven, Wilson on the keep again, going to the other side. A blocker out front and yanked down at the five by Thornhill. For Dorian Thompson Robinson. Has time. Nobody open. Flushed. Dancing. All the way back to the goal line. DTR oh, hit hard as he gets rid of it. Baron Browning plants him at the goal line and there's a flag. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense, number 56. 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Wait, he led with his uh, shoulder. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I mean, I know that we that's, are protecting quarterbacks, and I get it, and you should, but that's a tough one. We'll step aside. I mean, it's shoulder, yeah, no launch. Foot's on the ground, leads. Eyes are up, his head's up. Face mask, defense, number zero. Let's right see his there. left hand right here. Get caught up. Oh, okay. Second finger, second digit, maybe? Maybe. That looked like it was more around the uh, neck. Cardinals need three. Incomplete, there's a flag down. Flag is at the 11 Holy yard line. Defense number two. Rondale Moore here. We're going to see as he gets past him, he's just going to grab, grab that arm. Oh, boy, I don't know about that one. He gets that arm over there, but I don't think that there was much of a tug on that one. As the kids would say, that's that's sus. Oh, what? <laughs> I know that's what he Oh, oh sus that even you even yeah. said that. Yeah, your kid would use that at any time on you. That's complete. Right. Holding offense, number 64, 10-yard penalty, replay third down. You see he was working against uh, DeForest Buckner, and I don't see a lot there, Spiro. There is no foul for a face mask by the defense. Result of the play is a first down, Carolina. 13-yard gain, the best of the day. Oh, wow, really, Sanders got more of the face mask than anything else. We didn't really see a grab and twist from Amani Hooker. Well, you know how this league is. We let the offensive players face mask defensive players, right? It's all about it's all you, about you, creating opportunities. You, you really did enjoy that when you yeah, were an offensive sure. lineman. You like just grabbing masks. You're a big fan of that.